Hello and welcome. This is Botany and Board, and today um, I am Bailey and my husband Wyatt. We are going to be playing through a two-player run-through of Alhambra. So to start, I'll go ahead and give kind of just a brief rundown of the rules, but a lot of it you can just pick up as we go through our playthrough. So high level on your turn, you are going to be. There, can you please place out some money for me, darling? Sure. We've already shuffled the deck and added in uh, the scoring cards for rounds one and two and not the final round because that's when you're out of cards. So in case you wanted to know about that part, the cards are already shuffled okay. and inserted. Yes. So White is going to start first and give us each uh, some money. So he's going to start with one player at a time and keep drawing over one at a time until we get to 20 or more. Okay. Uh, do you want to go to you first? Sure. Okay, so I'm at four. You can go a little faster. So oh, that I thought it was dramatic. <laughs> well, like, what is this? Nine. Nine. <laughs> uh, six. Fifteen. Oh, sorry. I, I was just saying oh, what they are. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. you're just going so slow. It's just... Okay. You're done. <laughs> I'm done. 22. I am at 22. Okay, so I'll now... flip mine into my hand file. One. Oh yeah. Five. Killing it. Seven. Ooh, a six. Thirteen. Nineteen. Oh yeah, I get another card. Ooh. Twenty-one. Okay, so uh, the person who... Blackjack. <laughs> so you had twenty-one and I have twenty-two. So Wyatt gets to go first. So on his turn... Uh, you're going to just have two different options. So you are going to either be picking up money or you are going to be purchasing a building. You're going to do so to put these buildings into your tableau. So we're going to be building around this little center here, our Alhambra. And there are some placement rules, but we'll just go over them as we start placing. And so on your turn, whenever you're going to pick up cards, the only rules are you just get to pick up one thing of money, or if the two or more add up to less than five, then you can pick up all of those. So on this instance, I could take both this three. Can you see me? Okay, there you go. Uh, both this three and this one, because they only add up to four, or I simply could, could take the nine or the eight. Or, alternatively, if I did not want to just take money and I wanted to purchase something, then I'm going to be spending my money in the color that is next to the building. So the, each building has a color, but whenever you're purchasing something, it's actually, oh, I'm out of the thing again, sorry. Oh. So here's, <laughs> no, no, you're totally fine. Um, so for instance, yellow. So I have this orange money over here, and this orange money then will go to pay for the orange. I need to stop using orange. I will use my yellow money. Ha ha ha. There we go, yellow money to pay for this yellow building. So you can see that in this case, this building, this pavilion costs $6. I happen to have said $6. So in this instance, I would go submit my money. I get this building. <clears throat> and in the instance of I pay the exact change, and we just call this EC because saying that every time is ridiculous. So we say EC, <laughs> and then what that means is if you pay the exact change, you actually get to go again. So then I still have this in left in my hand. I have uh, five, seven, and four. So at that point, maybe I want to just overpay. So I'm going to pay $11, and you can't see this right now, but this $9 is where the orange is. Um, so I might want to buy this arcade, so I'll just overpay for the arcades, and then I get the two, and then I'm going to place them in my Alhambra. That would end my turn, and then it's Wyatt's turn to then pick whether he's going to take money or gather something um, or buy something and if you buy something for EC instead of alternatively instead of buying this second building down here I could have instead just chose to get money um, so I think that's high level the main thing so that is scoring I don't have one of the scoring yet can you please hand me that sure thank you so there are three scoring rounds that are placed in the deck and I don't know probably can't see this very yep. well there we go. I will handle this. Perfect. <laughs> so there are three scoring rounds. And so you'll see that 
we're going to be building up all of these buildings. Let's say I've managed to purchase these and I'm going to put them into my Tableau. Tableau, you just have to be able to walk is the rules of your Alhambra. So I'm gonna put all these in here like so. And so if the scoring round would come up, you get scored on major majority. So currently I have two pavilions, so I would then compare it to how many things Wyatt has in his My pavilion tableau. is empty right now. Yes, he has nothing. <laughs> so we're both gonna be building up a tableau. So it is a mixture of trying to get a certain number and type of, you wanna have the majority, that way you get the highest scoring. On a two player, it's a little different because honestly, like sometimes it's advantageous to just be a part of everything. That way you at least get some points. Um, am I forgetting? Oh, we'll go over the scoring of the walls. I think when we, sure. when we do that. Yeah. Longest wall. Yes. Yeah. So, but yeah, I think that's probably that. good to start. Maybe. Yeah, I think we'd be ready. Okay. I'm going to put the scoring thing down and uh, I have, did, I think I have one question. So yeah. I came out to 21, but I have more cards. You... But I go, I still go first because you've got 22. I yes. couldn't remember if it was like... I thought the, it was the... I, well, that's why I wasn't sure. I just wanted to clarify. So what we're trying to decide is uh, if they, if you had less cards over 20, do you go first, even if your number oh. was like 23 or like Sorry. more than mine? The player with the fewest cards starts. I start first because yeah. I only have four cards. Okay, so Bailey's going to start first because yes. she has less cards, and I got one, two, Which three, four, five, six. Even though she has a higher number... Uh, what yes. was yours? 22. 22. But and I only have... 21. Yes. I only have four cards. And the reason for that, like we said, it's advantageous to get exact change because then you get an additional action. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward, so we'll just kind of go explain things as we go. A lot of chambers and pavilions start. Okay. So, um, I begin then. So my options, again, I'm either going to get money or I am going to buy something. So I'm going to look to see, like first, usually if I can buy anything with exact change, I just do it. Because that way I can do that and then get money. Um, but currently I cannot pay for anything with exact change. So I am instead going to take this three and this one. Because that will help me in the future be able to get exact change. And I will okay. share with you my so on my turn, let's see, I can take something with EC, so what do we want to be our discard pile in here? Yeah, that works. Wherever. This is convenient. Yeah. Okay, so I'll make this the discard for now. And I'm going to take the pavilion, and I don't have to, I, there is the option, we didn't talk about this, but the corner of the boards, if you can't fit a tile on your board. Obviously I can at the beginning of the game, but if you couldn't for some reason, you can put it on the edge of the board um, for you to use later, but it will take a turn for you to take it out of that edge of the board or sort of um, limbo area. Reserve. Yes. The reserve. Mm -hmm. Okay. There was a name for it. <laughs> yeah, it has conveniently located a nice big R over here. So each player actually has their own reserve area. I'm actually not really sitting where I'm a player normally would be but so I did exact change and I took that one and the other thing you'll notice is Bailey brought in a new tile but it's not flipped over so if you were to buy tiles on your turn and had another turn you don't get to choose from the new there's not a new stock that becomes available you have to continue to choose from the other stuff so okay in this case I think I will take the eight Thank you. Okay, so now it's my turn, so I can go ahead and flip over that tile because it is available for me. Um, so I have uh, exact change, so I have five dollars here. So I will pick up this pavilion of orange. Again, the orange, <laughs> this is orange, this part you can't see, but you'll know that it's the other color. So I'm going to go ahead and place this. Um, Try to say if I want the tower too, or if I want to get money for my second action. Because I, since I did EC, I get to get something. And I think I will take, is that a six or a nine? That is a nine. Okay. Um, the green. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to overpay for the tower. They're, they're worth the most points in the point schematic. Um, they're at the bottom tier. 
So the bottom tier is worth the most. And then green is second to worth the most. And blue, which is what I bought, is worth the least. All, so pavilion, seraglio, what is the third one? Arcades, chambers, gardens, and towers. Okay. So my turn. Mm -hmm. Will you go ahead and refill the... Yes, I'm sorry. You're okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, not quite do it yet. So while he's thinking, I'll also kind of explain, so the placement rules. So the rule is this is the center of your Alhambra. So you have to be able to walk to every place inside your Alhambra. So what does that mean? So here you can see that there are borders. So then, of course, I can't walk through this thick black border. So when I'm trying to line up my Alhambra, da, 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 this is harder than it looks. Um, <laughs> When I'm trying to line it up, see, I could walk right from the center and my little person can go right into the tower and then now they can go down. They can't go through this way because it's black and they can't go through this way. The reason why the black borders are nice, though, is you actually get points when we score per, per border that continues, your longest one. So it's kind of advantageous to pick up tile places with borders, um, but it also makes it really tricky. Like right now I'm kind of like sandwiched out where certain tiles are hard for me to put into my Alhambra on the basis of what I've picked up so far. My turn? It is your turn. Okay. So I... Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have... I'm going to get very sanctioned, but that's all right. Okay, so I have exact change. Again, I feel like it must be my lucky day. So the seven, and it's a tower, which I also like, again, because I'm trying to collect a lot of those. Um, so I now have two towers, and this is also really good for my wall. So you, I don't know if you can see it, but I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven walls. But I'm very, <laughs> I'm starting to really like sanction myself out. So my top of my tower, I've almost like completely shut off, which we'll see if that was a good idea or bad. But for now, I'm okay with it. So I did EC, so I get one more action, and I will take... Um, let's go ahead and go with the eight, please. Okay. Thank you. Hmm, man, it must not be my lucky day. <laughs> I don't know. I am worried about my, my alignment, but we'll see. I like the start of the, the wall. Normally, I, I play really safe sometimes, and then... He always beats me on wall scoring. Like, he'll have this big, long, like, 20-point wall that I just can't keep up with. So, see if this pays off. Yeah. Your turn. Your turn. Okay, I'll take the four and one, because, again, I could take a both since they... The four and one? <laughs> That's an Alhambra joke from the U.S. The four and one. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I will do EC, and I'll do it in orange. Sorry, so, I just hit my mic if that was really Seven loud. and two, and I'll take out this arcade, and you'll notice it has no walls. So I'm going to go ahead and just attach it there, which it's nice to get no walls every once in a while to really open it up, whereas Bailey's board is really closed off right now. She essentially can only go down. Uh, my board can go anywhere. Not that that makes it better, uh, just sometimes you get in a pinch, mm -hmm. or can. Okay, so I did mine uh, exact, so what should I do for my next move? Hmm. I will... Go ahead and overpay for the chambers. So oh, you know what? I, I actually I'll leave this one there. I'm gonna take that back. I'm not gonna pay. I'll I will overpay though, but I'll overpay for the other chambers. Okay. Now you made the person feel bad. I know. Poor thing. <laughs> okay. So. I am going to, this round, take money. Okay. 
I too will take money. Mm -hmm. so also trying to get some orange money. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I will take the. Are you gonna say the two ones? Yeah, I'll, I'll take the two ones. Oh yeah, because that'll come out. Uh, I don't actually want that tile, though. Um, I can't even handle that right now with my amount <laughs> of closed offness I have. I'm going to do an EC. I'm going to pay double sixes uh, to get the tower 12. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wanted that. It had no it had no borders, which is exactly no what I needed borders. in my life. And it was a tower. So, for the next thing... I just don't know... I always have to be careful, like, I, I'm interested in the, um, the blue, the blue coin one, the chambers five, but whenever they have those three walls, you can really set yourself up in a bad spot when you get them. But I think I'll go ahead, I'm going to do it anyway. I feel like that's like, hint, hint, Bailey. <laughs> well, I mean, not always, sometimes they're saving yeah. grace, but it's like, it, it is not hard. very, I yeah. forget how many are, there are in the game, but there's not that many. Sorry, and what did you do? Were you done? That, yeah, I'm done. So that's yours because I paid extra for that one. Okay. okay, so I need some things here. Hmm. Okay, I will take. Let's just continue on my theme, I guess. I'll just take the two and one of the yellow. Two and one of yellow. I'm kind of holding out. I'm not doing a lot of buying right now, but I'm hoping that like later I have so many low digits that hopefully I can have a lot of EC and just kind of buy, buy, buy. Yeah. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought you were just going to go bye, bye. No. I see. I see EC. Alrighty. I think... Hmm. Man, there has not been many yellow. I'll go ahead and take the five. Um, okay. So... Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to pay 8, because this is the exact change. Unfortunately, I cannot place it anywhere in my Alhambra right now, so I'm going to put it in my reserve over here. You guys can't see Yeah, that. no, they can. They can? Yep. Oh, they can. There you go. There's my reserve right up there. Um, and so then EC, so then I, I will take the 6 of blue. Ooh, a 7. There's never any sevens or any yellows, so I'm, oh. gonna, take, yeah, I'm gonna take yellow. <laughs> I was like, I assume there's a normal a amount sevens. of sevens. <laughs> yeah, there's a few fair amount. Uh, my turn. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah, sorry. No, you're good. You're good. I will take. Are these those? I always get confused when they're flipped upside down. I'll take the two three. They're not. Oh. They read from the top set always. Well, I know, but the big number. Poor thing. Poor thing. <laughs> Not to read. We've got to be getting to a scoring marker soon, wouldn't you think? Mm, it, seemed, it does seem like we've taken a lot of cards. Um, I have a lot of cards. Yeah, but I don't have a lot of, have a lot of Sometimes that's good, because like she was saying, sometimes you're just like, oh, like you could take three of these for exact change in one time and all of a sudden you'd be way caught up. Yeah, but I'm hoping to buy some more tiles before Square Now comes out because right now he is going to be winning in both the chambers, the arcades, and the pavilion. Oh, we tie in the pavilion. I'm going to take a yellow. That's a nine. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. that. Yeah. There for you. <laughs> um... I know, I really want a yellow card because I want that, like, so I have a problem where I can't have anything with the top black border, so you'll see that nothing 
means anything to me right now except for the Seraglio, and unfortunately it is yellow. And I already have one in reserve. And so taking it out of your reserve also takes an action. So I don't just want to like buy a bunch of stuff because it'll take me forever just to get it out. Do you feel like... It was a bad decision? I don't even want to hear you. It's no, it's been a fine decision. It'll, is that what you're going to ask? About your, the amount of borders you have on your... Yes, I feel great though from a border standpoint. Mm. I think I'm going to... Am I beating you so far on that? Oh uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. <laughs> I'm just wondering how you feel about it, because it is more difficult, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the fact that you put that one in your reserve, like, I know. had to do with your initial startup. I know, I know. It's being aggressive. It's trying not to be so place scared. No, you better be scared. <laughs> I'm going to overpay on yellow to get this Seraglio and put it right down here. And you can go ahead. I'm sure it's like wild money or something where I just need like to pay that thing in yellow. Um... Okay, well, I'm just going to just keep stocking up, and then I hope that he'll buy something. I mean, I could buy that pavilion, but I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, but you can take it. What's your problem? What's my problem? <laughs> I mean, I could, yeah, I guess I can take it. I mean, they're not worth that much, and where am I going to put it? I wouldn't mind some blue cards showing up. I mind some yellow, that's what I wanted, but I'm oh, sure you're going to take that. I'm going to take that. All that coming. Um, so I picked up, oh, it's going Oh. Darn it, I was hoping, okay, so, oh, I didn't get anything but three, and I got these out, like, some of my first right, turns. Right, yeah, so. right off the top, but you do All have, right. like, you have, like, a quarter of the deck. I know, I've got, so, like, I, some stuff some should point, start falling. Yeah, you yeah. should be fine. Hopefully. Okay, uh, so now we're gonna do the, I'm gonna put away my cards for a second, and I'm going to minimize our hand views so that you guys can see us go around the track. Now, where do we, where is the starting point? Is it up by you? Uh, nope. Over by the plant to across the way. Okay. So, right at the plant. So, I'll move this. Okay. Actually, we can, we can go right over here. Watch us as we do magic tricks. <laughs> okay. So, um, first thing we got to do is look at our scoring card. And it says on round one, you don't do anything but the winner, right? Yeah, so it's yeah. the major whoever has the majority. Yep. Majority. Okay, so as you can see, it is, maybe you can see, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So Bailey and I are going to find out who has the most of each one and move our meeples below the leaf up accordingly. Okay, so first one, pavilion. How many pavilions do you have? I have one. Bailey has one. I also have one. So, so we split it, rounded down, which would be zero. So we didn't move <laughs> anywhere. Okay, Seraglios. I have one. Nope. Seraglio was worth two, so I am blue. One, two. Okay. Arcades. One. Nothing. Okay. One, two, three. Um, chambers. Nothing. I have two. One, two, three, four, at nine. I beat in towers. She beat me in towers, which was worth a lot. So she jumps all the way to six on one. Yeah. Thank God I got that one because otherwise it's terrible. That would have been brutal. Terrible. Been a brutal first uh, round. So yeah, so the next thing we do then is walls. So I don't know. You can... Oh yeah, can we can do walls. Uh, I can actually... 
why don't we, we can start with yours. So I'm going to zoom that in. Okay. And we can watch Bailey as she chooses the walls. So here's my maybe foolish mistake of setup. <laughs> so I have walls of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I get seven more points for walls. So I will be at 13, please. Seven more sir. points. So she just counted. It had to be continuous. It can't be broken up. And so she counted all the continuous walls that she had. So I'm at 13. Okay. He does look like he gathered up some walls. Over there. I got, uh, and I guess I could zoom mine in, but you saw how it scored, so but we'll zoom it in real quick. So looking at mine, I got one, two, three, four walls. Uh, and so you choose whatever's the longest. As you can see on the other side, I have just one, two, three. Um, that's one thing that's nice about Bailey's three wall situation is you do get a lot of walls, and they do add up really fast. Um, but it's not my longest one, so... I got four points, and how many did you get, Bailey? Seven. I already moved to me. You're good. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and so I got four. One, two, three, oh, four, and we're tied tiny. at 13. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, historically, Wyatt always beats me at this. I don't. I think I've won a few times, but he normally beats me. But usually it's the wall situation, so that's why I was like, no, today. And she's killing me in the wall. <laughs> today so, I'm I mean, going to be the wall. It is a little woman. surprising. Oh. Let's turn on that one more time. There we go. Okay. Okay, so I was flipping. Now I should have paid more attention to... Who's... You flipped that, um, and that so means I assume... you picked something out of it. Yeah, I was probably my doing my turn, yeah. So you would have finished your turn yeah, and, and you were refilling. It. Yep. So it is my turn. Okay. So I will start out with... Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and get a pavilion EC. Put it there, I think. Okay, yep. and then for another EC, I'm going to get this Seraglio. All right. Anything else you're doing mm -hmm. this turn? <laughs> mm -hmm. Doing and making moves, you are. making waves. I'm going to go ahead and overpay. And get this pavilion down here. So he actually, I don't know if you, yeah, you can probably see that down there. So he put a, so you can put walls to walls. So walls to walls, no walls to no walls is kind of the. So looking at my hand, I put this one in. So since this pavilion had a wall to wall, but this that I put down here, the seraglio mm -hmm. had none. I can put a wall next to it, but if, if it looked like this, hypothetically, couldn't do that. <laughs> But I can match it up this yes. way. Yes, a wall to wall, but and it still has to be connected where he can still walk from his little blue pavilion mm -hmm. so down to I the seraglio go... over to the yeah. pavilion. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right, it's your turn. Uh, go ahead and let's replace that one, and then I'll flip them. Okay. Whole new board. Woohoo! And I got some stuff. The, yeah, she's probably going to start taking off, taking I would assume, off. with all of her cards. All right, so I want <laughs> to get some <laughs> to get some cards, yes. Uh, I'm going to pay eight EC for this one, Arcade, and then, so you can keep buying up. So I'm going to keep buying up everything I can and then place it all at once because it's more ad advantageous. You don't have to, like, buy place by place. At least since the last time I read the rules. <laughs> um, I'm going to also pay 9 for EC here. And then... Okay, so that'll probably be good with that. And then I will take my last action. I will get some Moolah. It's Moolah. Yeah. 
So I will take the. I'm gonna get the four. Okay. okay. So now I will go ahead and place. So I'm going to extend down and down. All right. So I can still walk perfectly. And now she has a really long wall. No, so really when you think about that point schematic, it's looking good for her there. Um, okay, go ahead and flip those, and then I will do what I can. So I will do an EC and take this pavilion. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the two, three. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So. I'm going to pay uh, EC, so $11 for the, <laughs> I'm like so bad at this, like I don't, because I keep seeing it in the one camera, I'm like, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so 11 pay EC for this garden over here, okay. and then after that, I will also do I'm going to put my garden in, which is great that it has no borders. It really is really helpful for me. Um, so I still have a top part issue where I can't have anything with a border in the top. So my thing in the reserve is still locked, and I really don't want any of those buildings. So I'm going to take money, and I would like to have the green six, please. Green six. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Clear. I'll take uh, the orange seven. Nope, you're fine. Okay. Um. Order. Ooh. Ah. Green seven. I will pay for the chambers. So with the scoring round, so the next round, so the first round only the person that has the majority gets to score. On the second round, it is first and second place score. So kind of on a two player, that's why I said it's kind of advantageous really in a two player game just to make sure you have one of each building type because you're automatically going to get second. And then on third place, first, second, and third score. Okay. You're good. Okay. So I'm going to pay EC for the chamber. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No borders. Love oh, that. that. Is handy. And. And then for my next one. I will take the five. Five. Hey, my turn. Mm -hmm. I will pay EC for the arcades. And what else should I do? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and I'm going to take this nine blue. Okay. Okay. Um, 
So I'm going to pay EC for the garden. $8 here. This over there. And then... Oh, can I flip this? Uh, yeah, because yeah. that. Yeah, because I just bought that. You just didn't do it. Flip it over for me last time. Oh. All right. All right. Or I didn't flip it over for myself. <laughs> well, that was two. Um. So I think I'll just take my money. Yeah, I don't do know that I want to overpay necessarily, but. I will. Okay, I'm going to overpay for the Seraglio. Because okay. I don't have a Seraglio yet, so I feel like that would be... nice be... to have one. Uh, nice. with, and so what Bailey's talking about is it's nice to have... You have to. You should have one of everything at a certain point, because otherwise you're just losing... You're giving up lots of points. Because okay. you're definitely going to get second. Mm -hmm. In a two-player. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. More and more chambers. Okay. I will I'll go ahead and buy this chambers. Let's see, I might need to shift mine. Make sure he doesn't cheat everybody. Any reorgs or reorganizing? <laughs> no one will know. Can't tell what I'm up to. Goes over there in one shape, comes back. <laughs> wow, that's weird. So. It definitely changed. Okay, can you throw out the other one, but don't flip it over yet? Mm -hmm. And so I did uh, uh, EC for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Choices, choices. While he's thinking, uh, we can go to our first house plan of the day. See if I can get a uh, good... Show it in your camera right by you. Oh, in my camera right by me. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so this is the Philodendron Imperial Red. And then, here, you let me take a look. Because hmm? right, I've thought enough, I will also show. Okay. Oh, thank you. This is the Philodendron Imperial Red. So it's really interesting. You see how this leaf is red right now? So it's actually on its stages of turning green. And this one, it was red. So it actually comes out like a really bright orange. And then it goes to this beautiful, beautiful red. And then it kind of fades down to green. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Is it easy to grow? Yeah. I would say it wouldn't be the first thing I would pick up if this mm. was your first plant. But yeah, overall, I wouldn't say it is that temperamental. The thing I have trouble with on philodendrons is they always get, depending on the one, they always get stuck in their, the new growth will get stuck like in its little sheath mm -hmm. that it comes out in and then occasionally then Meaning it, the leaf won't unfold, is that the what you're leaf, saying? Or, yes, the leaf won't unfold in time so it can either like rot in the sheath or like sometimes like it'll like be trying to break out of the seam but only partially gets out so it might like snap or so, I mean I'm sure there's Ways well, to avoid that. I have that one actually called... Philodendron Imperial Red. Okay. And why do they call it the red? Because of the red leaf? Because of the red leaf. Yes. Okay. Because it always comes out red. And uh, it fades to green. He wasn't listening, you guys. Philodendron. <laughs> Philodendron. It's like a, a Harry Potter reference. Like, Philodendron. <laughs> Lingardium <laughs> Philodendron. Uh, I went ahead sure. and picked up a five orange for my turn. Um... What was it? Imperial Red? Imperial Red. Imperial Red. Sounds royal. Yes. Majestic. Yes. I also have a uh, Philodendron Prince of Orange also. Of course. Sounds, Prince But you'll of see orange. that. Not today, but a uh, different day. Lingardium Philodendron. This <laughs> is my turn. Yes, it is your okay. turn. Okay. So... I think she's thinking. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm gonna overpay for the garden. So this is ten dollars for that garden, but I liked it because 
I just want to go ahead and, and even though this is going to set this one up where I need something that has no wall, <laughs> no wall, and a wall over here, which is going to be hard to fill this piece, but I'm going to do it anyway because it at least just gives me an option to like start walking down this way. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm playing very risky, but why not? That's what I said last Why time. not? <laughs> it's going to be my new anthem. Okay. I'm going to make that just a little bit smaller. Her hand's a little big. Okay. Uh, so my turn. Thanks. You think my hands are too big? She's got big hands. <laughs> you know what to say about big hands. Actually, I do need to repaint my nails, so I would appreciate if they're not <laughs> zoomed in on. That would be fantastic. Everyone was talking about her nails on the commentary. They're like, oh my <laughs> god, I can't believe it. Uh, so looking at that, I'm going to go ahead and do EC in orange and go ahead and get the tower. Um, mainly because looking at my board, I have a really good spot with it. And I'm, I mean, I'm really concerned. I, we looked at Bailey's board and from the get-go, she had a really good layout. But like, as you can see, I'm like trying to catch up in the... Your wall board reminds category. me of like a Pac-Man or a, uh, you know. It's pretty cool. That's what she's trying to say. Whatever <laughs> word she's using, she's trying to say it's pretty cool. Of course. So I'm going to go ahead and get this tower so I can get three more walls. Uh, because, I mean, yeah, we have some time before we get to the next stage. But, like, this deck isn't, like, all that big. This is probably, like, two... Two out of five, like if, if, if it's like five sections big, we're, we're probably down to like the back three or two and a half. So yeah. the next scoring card is yeah. probably coming up and not terribly long. I feel like we're still, yeah, I feel like we're like, what is that? What is, um, two fists? <laughs> that's, exact, that's exactly <laughs> what it would be. Uh, I was okay. thinking, what percentage is that? So I did that, sorry, I did that for EC. So... With my next turn, I'm going to go ahead and get hmm. I'll go ahead and get Well. Oh. Dun 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 dun. dun. What's going on? <laughs> we are now experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> we definitely are. I don't know how to get it to go back. I wonder if our battery is low. Yes, our battery our is battery low. Our battery is low. We will take a quick pause and yep. come back. We're going to pause. <laughs> 